BSL Shaders is one of, if not the most popular shaders pack for Minecraft, and in this video, we're going to be showing you how to install it. The goal of this, by the way, is to kind of keep it uh, consistent throughout all of the versions. Throughout this video, you're going to be seeing us showing articles. These articles are on our website, and we can keep them up to date. While videos may change, these articles, we can change the links on them and things like that to make sure they help you, even years, decades, potentially, into the future. So, nevertheless, let's go ahead and get BSL Shaders. First thing we want to do is go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is the official BSL Shaders page, and when you're here, click BSL Shaders. That will take you to this page, where finally, we can click Download on the right-hand side, scroll down, and click the yellow Download button here. When you click that Download button, it will take you here where the download will begin right away. Off downloading, how about you for our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, so your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We love to say back so much, we host all of our Minecraft servers on Apex Minecraft Hosting. So, if you want to start your own server, look no further than Apex Minecraft Hosting. The first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, there we go. BSL has now downloaded in the bottom left of Google Chrome. You may need to keep it in the bottom left of Chrome or save it on the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Completely up to the browser you are using, and it is completely safe to download it. As you can see, 21 million people have done so. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and download Optifine. Optifine is the most consistent way to install shaders. There are other ways, things like iris shaders and stuff like that, but Optifine is consistently there. It's been around for a decade. It is going to keep being updated, and so because of that, this video, we want it to be around for a decade. We need to be confident what we're showing will be as well, and Optifine's one of those things. So, nonetheless, let's go to the third link down below. That takes you here. This is our in-depth guide on Optifine. We're going to be going over the basics in this video, and I don't expect it to change much, but the great thing about our article is we go through all the different troubleshooting issues you may have with Optifine. So, should you have an issue, come back to this article. It will help. Now, let's just go and click the Download Optifine button to be taken to Optifine's official download page. Once you're here, you want to find the version of Minecraft that you want to install. For this, we're going to be using 119.2, but this will work into the the future as well. Click the mirror link next to the version of Optifine that you want, and then it's going to take us to here, the official kind of download area for that specific version. Click the boot download link, and it will start downloading. As you can see in the bottom left of Google Chrome, you may need to save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox. It's completely dependent on the browser that you're using. Keep it in the bottom left of Chrome, save it on Firefox. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and minimize our browser here and move both of these to our desktop. To do that, click the little notice icon, top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen, or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. And yes, this is fully working on Windows 11. Type in downloads, you have this downloads file folder. Then you want to move Optifine and BSL to our desktop, right like so. Now, once these are on your desktop, we're actually going to be starting off with Optifine. To do that, right-click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here. Well, if you don't have Java, you need Java, and you can find this in the description down below. The time I'm recording this, you need Java 17, but guess what? A few years ago, you needed Java 8, and that's what this article said at that time as well. So we will update this to keep it current to the version of Java you need. So if in the future, it's taking you to Java 19, Java 20, that's perfectly normal. So just click Download and go through this tutorial to download that version. But nevertheless, once you've got that, you may need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files from your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. Nevertheless, you should then finally be able to right click on Optifine, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK to open up the Optifine installer. Once you're here, click install and Optifine will come up and say Optifine is successfully installed. The only reason it won't at this point is if you've never played the version of Minecraft that you're trying to install Optifine for. If that's the case, go play it, come back and this will work. Or if Minecraft or the op Minecraft launcher are open. If that's the case, close out of both of those and reinstall Optifine. Nevertheless, click OK. It will close out of Optifine and we can delete it from our desktop. Now let's install our shader pack. To do that, go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And then in the Minecraft launcher, what we want to do is go ahead and make sure we're playing with our Optifine profile. Now for me, I already have have an Optifine profile because it's set up automatically. You most likely have one as well, and it might even be selected. Or is not so we can click this little arrow here, and there it is. There's Optifine. It's the version of Optifine we want, so we'll go ahead and click play, and click play again. But I don't have an Optifine version here. Well, if that's the case, click on installations, and we can go ahead and make sure mod is checked. As you can see, if mod is unchecked, Optifine disappears. If it's not checked, boom, there you go. There's Optifine. Click play, click play again. But if you still don't have Optifine, click new installation. And you can name it whatever you want. We're going to name it BSL Shaders. And then we can go ahead and change our version. But in our version, we want to select 1.19.2-Optifine. That's the most important part of creating this new version here. If you don't do this, it won't work, so make sure you do. I'm going to change our resolution so we can see once we get in game and click Create. And now we have this new BSL Shaders installation. Click Play, click Play again. And now Minecraft's going to open up with Optifine installed. We will meet you on the Minecraft main menu. The hard part of getting BSL Shaders is done. Let's go ahead and skip to the easy part. And now we're in Minecraft. If we go to Options... Video settings, shaders, this is where you can add shaders. But that was fast, let's do it one more time. For the Minecraft main menu with Optifine installed, go Options, 
video settings, and then shaders. I already have PSL, let me uninstall that real fast. There we go, like magic PSL shaders is uninstalled. Let's go ahead and get it reinstalled. To do that, once you're in this shaders menu here, click the shaders folder in the bottom left, and then drag and drop BSL from the Minecraft main menu into your shaders folder, right like so. When you do that, automatically it will appear back here. Boom, there it is, we can click on it, click done, Click done, click done, and jump into a Minecraft single player where you will see this. This will work on multiplayer as well, just so you know, but we will be able to see that this is working in game. Now, one thing worth mentioning is that you can actually change options on BSL shaders. Wow, look, this is such a great shaders pack. It's actually my personal favorite as well, but wow. Nevertheless, if you want to change options on this shaders pack, you can go into options and then video settings, shaders again, and then with this pack selected, on the right-hand side there are a few, but also on the bottom right there's shaders options. And this is where you can change the different sort of profiles. Low is going to be kind of high performance, right? You're going to get more FPS with it than you will with Ultra, where you're going to get less. If you have a really good graphics card, though, Ultra is perfectly fine. It just kind of depends on what you're looking to do. Let's go ahead and change this. You can also change specific lighting features, right? If you want to change anything specific, color grading. I mean, there's so much you can do here. It actually gets overwhelming. I don't know what half of this stuff is, but if you want to change anything of it, you can. Atmospherics, for example, if you want to change the clouds and the sky and all that, you can do it. So nevertheless, that is where your shaders options are, and that is how you can get BSL shaders in Minecraft. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. We will see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.